So it's the end of the year, you're tidying up your polytunnel, you're sorting out your garden, and you come across a whole load of stuff that you've hidden away. You've took it out of the way because you don't want any visitors seeing it. And you know what it is? I'm talking about the old plant pots. Not just the ones that you've cleaned and put away, but the ones you've tried to grow stuff in. Remember those tomatoes where you planted too many of them? You thought, I'll put them over there and I'll put them on a compost later, and you never did. Or the other little fruit bushes you put in and they all died, and you thought, no, they'll do all right by the end of the year. But they didn't. And you've hidden all of this detritus away. Well, here's an idea you can use with it to provide yourself with some really healthy food for the winter. Now, the great and the good will tell you you've put this in your compost heaps and you make fresh compost. But I'm here to tell you, maybe there's another thing to do. First of all, I throw it all out. I throw it all onto a bench. Just chuck the whole lot in together. Don't worry about what's in it at all. Get it all in together. Mix it all up. Pull out any of the roots that's left in. Now remember, this isn't rocket science and it's not art, it's gardening. And as such, it's very forgiving. So we've now got this very dusty, dry material, which is perfect for planting up an old mushroom tree. Now, you've got plenty of holes in the bottom there, but in effect, you've got too many. So any water you put in there will drain through and you'll lose it. But if you take a couple of old cardboard boxes, of which, you know, there's lots of them lying about here, and you simply line the bottom of your box, you can then fill that box with good old fashioned, dry, powdery, pre-used compost soil pot and compound whatever you've got in it now i've also added to this a handful of fish blood and bone just to re-energize it but you could just as easily throw in a bit of fresh compost a bit of cow dung some tea bags something along those lines that will help put a bit of nutrient back into that soil now you don't need a lot because all you're going to grow in it this might come out the wrong way around is mixed leaves so you've got your pot here, now we'll give it a bit of a watering. Now it needs a really good soaking, I might as well soak that lot as well because I've got a few to do. Because it's become so dry that it actually repels a lot of the first drenching that you give it. So you're best to give it a good drench, give it a couple of minutes just for that water to soak through and run away because as you can see it pools in some areas and runs straight off in others as it's stopped pooling it's run away give it another drink now i planted a bunch of these mixed leaf seeds well just a couple of weeks ago really what was it when did i put them in i put them in at the end of september so as you can see you know they're just nice little nice little size they're my nephew Dan give me these trays, they're absolutely first class. So we'll pop these over here. Holes are already there. Put them in, stick them in, down they go. Make sure they get a good bite into that soil. You want them in and you want that soil, that compost brought right up around the necks of the leaves. Now I'll pop ahead and do the rest of these, then I'll come back and have a chat. There you go, you can see now we've got a dozen of those little plugs in there and if each one of those plugs has got four mixed plants in that's 48, nearly 50 plants in the size of a little tray. Now this tray will sit beautifully on your windowsill, in the greenhouse, under a sheet of polythene maybe even in a, on the patio. Don't forget you don't have to use mushroom trays, you could use um, polystyrene boxes, you could use plastic buckets, you can use anything really, you can use a cardboard box lined with polythene on the inside. All you're after doing is providing a structure to hold the compost in place so the plants can get in. Now don't forget, stick a label on, otherwise I guarantee you'll forget what it was you planted. Now those amongst you who know gardening well will say, well that's a waste of time, they'll never grow, but you know, they will 
and they do and they have for me for many years. You don't get full lettuces but you do get a healthy crop of leaves. Now as we say let's have a look at some I prepared earlier. Now here's a few bok choy leaves that I did in the same way inside these old beer kegs actually. You can see I planted a few little clumps of them and very quickly these little clumps develop into good heady leaves. And here's some of those mixed salad leaves. I've just watered them, they look as flat as a pancake now. But I put these in here just about 10 days to two weeks ago and already they're shooting away like crazy. Now, as I mentioned before, you don't have to use plant pots. Here I've used a bit of old polythene and a bit of old betel fencing that I found and bent it. So what I've made is just a kind of a, well, if you come from Tyneside, you'll know what a shuggy boat is, but it looks a bit like a shuggy boat. And inside, filled it up with old compost. And here you can see I've got rainbow chard in here and this is garlic I've put in. Yeah, there's still a few toms hanging around on the outside. And at the end, don't forget to put a few herbs in as well. See if you're buying them. Those Schwarzkopf things cost a fortune. Oh, and also, don't forget the flowers. You know, you get a few leaves off that. That's nasturtium and it'll go in the salad. So there you go. A very simple way to use your old compost. Use a few old plastic trays and a bit of cardboard and produce yourself some fantastic winter salad veg. Give it a go.